Hey, uh, this is Stacia, and we're going to do a little calculation training, just a little puzzle survival, because why not? All right, and so here we're at 12, and actually this is what um, one of my, my Sunday class kids uh, went on my computer at the end of class. It looks like they got to 12, which is pretty good for them. They're only rated like 200 or something. <laughs> so yeah, hey, not too bad. So we're going to just continue from here and see how it goes. So this is white to move, and I can see currently that black is forking us. So we're going to need to do something kind of forcing in this position. But luckily, we have a queen, and the queen can also check this king. So I'm immediately looking at queen c3 check. And um, yeah, that looks pretty annoying, actually. Um, first of all, we could take the knight, but second of all, it looks to me like they're going to have to block with the bishop, and then it's just checkmate. So, I definitely like this move. <laughs> oh, I forgot the knight could also sack. <laughs> all right, so wait to move. Um, I mean, what? <laughs> this looks really easy. How about just checkmate? Yeah, that was an 800. I have no idea why. All right, now this one, let's go. Um, now how about take a rook? It's definitely this move, right? Black to move. Checkmate in one. White to move. Probably we take this with check. Yeah, I think we do actually because after check, I mean, they could block with the queen, but we take it. So they probably would take with the knight. But then we play check. And if they block with the queen, we have this nice little move. Bishop to c4, which will check the king. Now the king will have to move back. Um, and then we just win the queen, which would be pinned anyway. So I definitely think it's this. Oh, I forgot the Nika block. Hmm. Actually, it's kind of annoying. So I didn't calculate this right, actually, because now we take. But at the end of this, we're up a piece. OK. It was a little lazy on my part, though. So now it's way to move. And um, OK. I mean, there is a check there. And if this, that's checkmate. So they would have to just resign? I don't know. This looks good. <laughs> oh, yeah. They could block with the knight. I'm missing all these, like, extra blocks. I should at least see that. Black to move. So I think this one is basically, like, if we take a free queen, we get checkmated, right? Is that actually checkmate, though? They actually come out here. And then check. But, I mean, still, why would we give them a free rook? So probably we take first. They take, wait, I don't know if that helps, actually. We take a queen. They come down check. King of seven. So are we escaping? Because they have this check, too. We just come out. And yeah, I think we just escaped. So we're not getting mated. So that means we should take the rook and then take the queen. Yeah, because king of seven and we're fine. Black to move. I mean, <laughs> knight e7 looks, you know, quite tempting. Oh, this is Anastasia's mate. Gotta love it. Knight e7 check, king h1, let's sack our rook, takes, and then checkmate. Seems like pretty good. So there you go, white to move here. Um, so I'm playing the King's Island Open in about two weeks. Really looking forward to it. 
I haven't played like a slow time control tournament in a long time and I played a really good game of Parma the other day. Got to show that one on my channel actually. Quite excited about that one. Um, at least I thought it was good. I sacked my queen, so you know. How often do you get to sack your queen and have it be sound? Um, most of my sacrifices are not sound. So when I do one that's sound, <laughs> then I announce to the world I'm brilliant. Um, it's White's turn. Oh, I was looking for Mr. Black. Um, I mean, I want to push this king here and play checkmate. That would be amazing. And I think we can do that with this move, right? So, it sure seems like it. Yeah, that's checkmate. Okay, black to move. What I really want to do is play a training game, but I know I'm going to have to fold my laundry in a minute. <laughs> Sucks being an adult. What can you say? Um, <laughs> no, it's fine. It's probably just this move, right? Simple discovery on the rook. But is that true? So after this move, let's say they just take it. I take the rook. I want to make sure there's nothing crazy here. No, I don't believe there is. I think that just wins. Now, if they move the rook, we take a knight. So that's yeah, this. Okay, now they're gonna take this. So computer's being sneaky, but we we take first. You know what? Hang <laughs> on a second. They take back. We take. They take here. Yeah, we're fine. We just moved the moved the queen. Okay, black to move. Um, this pesky knight is defending both the rooks. That's kind of weird, but it's a thing. So, um, oh, I think we actually sack the queen here because the knight must take, and then we play here and. That looks like me, so I'm good with that one. So what they actually might do is play rookie one to block. Let's find out. Nope. Wait to move. This looks like ladder mate. There's gotta be something tricky here though, right? I don't think there is actually. I mean, if you go here, this, this rook blocks, and if you check, and try to win the rook. Actually, that would win the rook. <laughs> they go here, they can go here though, which also protects it. So I honestly think it's this one, which is just checkmate. So that one's kind of silly. Black to move. Um, I mean, this looks quite strong to me. I mean, not only is it a fork on the king and the rook, but I don't see how the king gets out of this. Like, there's nowhere to go. So, I mean, they could block, we take it. They could block here, we take it. Yeah, I don't know. It's this. That was actually... I have no idea why that was a 1400 puzzle. Um, black to move. My first instinct is to play g3 because I love trapping the king <laughs> with the pawn. And after that, all you need is a check, which we could even sack because we've got two rooks. So if we do that immediately, what happens though? Here takes check I mean actually it just works right now ok 
Okay, wait to move. Um, I mean, there's this, but they come here. So I think we just check here, right? And then if they play rook here, then rook b8 is mate because we took away that escape square. That's what we were trying to do with this move. Yep. And that's a 1500. So. This knight is actually pinned to the king. Um, um, um. So I would say, um. I would say, um. Because <laughs> I don't see the answer right now. It possibly could be this move. I just see the after takes. We can check here, but is that enough? I don't really, um. I think this should be better, but what would it be? I don't know. It honestly might be a fork, because after we capture the, the knight, pawn takes and queen d4 check is going to attack this bishop and the king. So that would be uh, a fork and... I mean, it also wins a pawn, so, like, how do you go wrong with that one? And if they had, like, bishop somewhere check winning our queen, that would be annoying, but, yeah, there isn't that, so. It is this. And I think we just simply take the, the bishop. Yep, okay. Um, okay, black to move here. It's kind of crazy that I did chess all day. I was at... Chess, I taught two classes at, at Sunday class, ran a tournament for them. Then I hung out with Ben O'Shammy and we did chess for another four hours <laughs> or so. I don't know how long. And, and then I come home and I'm like, huh, what do I want to do? I know. How about chess? <laughs> okay. I think we call that an obsessive personality, which is not surprising. Um, this check looks looks very promising, actually. Um, I mean, it's basically mate. They would have to block with a knight. So if they do that, um, I think we simply take, and after pawn takes, there's queen g3, and that's just checkmate. As far as I can tell, that is a dovetail checkmate, right? If the queen's here and there's stuff here, then the queen will, you know, do this. So I think that's it. So I'm going to go for it. Okay, 29. Let's do black to move here. Um, black to move and... Um, I want to go here and threaten checkmate. So, but if we do this, oh, I was going to say they come check us. And I just realized there's a pawn in the way. So this move looks quite, quite strong. Um, they have no way to check our king. And so the best they could do is something like king to be one. And king be one. What do we do on that move, actually? I started looking at this, but I just, that doesn't feel right. Um, this move definitely feels right. But after king g1, could we go here? I mean, this is what I would play in a game, I feel. Um, because... They have to stop checkmate, and if they don't, I'm going to win this pawn. That looks pretty strong to me. So I'm going to play this. 
Okay. Now, I mean, going anywhere this way, like, then we get this mate threat. I just can't do it here. But then again, maybe I can because what if we just play here? What if we go, um, you know, A3? I'm threatening check. If they go here, check me. And on A3, I mean, if I got an extra move, it would be forced. So what else could they do? The king actually can't, has no moves. So if they have no moves, then we're just threatening check here and me. We're threatening mate in two. So it's this. Okay, wait to move. Um, I think this might be the last one because I need to go do laundry. <laughs> Not too exciting, but I had an exciting weekend. You know what I will do is after this one, I think I might just show you guys like um, some pictures from my weekend. If it's of any interest at all, I don't know, but I'll just go ahead and do it. Why not? It's at the end of the video. What's the answer, though? I don't know. And this pawn is pinned. It's attacked three times, but it's defended three times. And um, I wish I could take the queen, but my pawn's pinned. So that's not, that's not working. So we also have this check. And uh, that check looks quite annoying. They would have to go here, and then we have this check, which would win a queen. So that looks good enough, actually. Oh, <gasps> I went too fast. No. So I hate to end on one like this, though, but um, so why is this check lose? Um, probably because we have mate. What's the mate though? I feel like here and they go king e5, so that's not mate. Um, I mean, that move seems very strong. I don't. I mean, why is it not this move? Oh, and I didn't see the engine was on, but, um, yeah, so my move's mate in three. I mean, whatever. So, but we should just go queen d4. I don't know why I had a blind spot for queen d4. Looking at it now, it's, like, so obvious. But, um, that's okay. I've really got to, to go, but, um, just very quickly, I'll go ahead and show... A few picks from this weekend, because why not? Um, I don't know how much you guys can see, but if I just do my... Yeah, that's National Master Ananta Dury. Yeah, and here's my Sunday class kids. They... They did great. I mean, uh, why it's, I mean, I cannot take credit for these kids. They're, they're doing the work, not me. Trust me. <laughs> Especially like Thomas and Wyatt. And I've worked with the twins quite a bit, but they also do a lot on their own. So, and Bodon's new to Sunday, but these kids, man, they can play some chess. Declan's been tearing it up lately. He's right here. Um, yeah, there's Declan. Declan's, wow, he's really good at chess. Aiden, a longtime student of mine, crushed someone with Evan's Gambit. That was pretty exciting. Olivia played the championship section for the first time. Ian's a USCF expert. The last time I played him, he just crushed me easily. 
Uh, so she had a tough tournament, but she was playing up. It's hard to play up, I know from experience. Um, there's Bodan in action. And Camden from Menlo um, did this awesome trick. He was completely lost. Like, he lost all his pieces. And his opponent was easily winning, and he set up this, like, stalemate trap, and it worked. <laughs> so it was pretty crazy. And, uh, yeah, so... Madeline in action. So there you go. Um, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time. Bye.